If you have Adobe's Creative Cloud and you're in need of converting a bunch of video files to different formats or resolutions or frame rates, you already have a very cool tool that you can use that is perfect to do this and perhaps you don't know about it. I remember a number of years ago looking for an app that could just do this, convert video files to other types of video files. But then I discovered that Adobe Creative Cloud has an application that is not only better, but it's already included in your plan. So let me show you how you can use it. So I have a bunch of video files. These video files are in a B-RAW video format, which is the type of file that a Blackmagic camera produces. And it's a great video file, but the problem with it is that you need a special uh, kind of program to, in order to open them. So I need to use this um, Blackmagic RAW player in order to watch them. So I want to convert all of these videos to a more uh, popular and regular video file. So for that, I'm going to use Media Encoder, which is this program right here and this program is perfect to do that so what i'm going to do is i will select all of this video file so i will drag my cursor uh, on every single one of them and then i will drag them to media encoder and the way to do it is this you will drag your video files and you will drop them here but you have to be careful with this you have to drop them here to add as separate sources and not uh, to stitch uh, clips together, which is something we don't want. So let's select this one and all the files are going to be added here. Now, something that we have to do is we have to tell the program what type of file we want for all of these clips to be what is the video file or the video codec or the video format that we want for these videos to be. So what I'm going to do is I will select the very first clip. I will press the shift key and I will select the very last of them so that we can um, make the change to all of the clips. So now we're going to click on one of these uh, buttons here in the middle. It can be any one of them. And a pop-up message will appear telling, the, telling us that we are about to edit encoding settings for multiple outputs, which is exactly what we want. The settings of all selected outputs will be replaced. Do you want to continue? Yes, because that's exactly what I want to do. So a window will come up and here we're going to tell Media Encoder what is the type of file that we want. So in my case, I want to convert these files to Apple ProRes, but you have a bunch of options that you can select for your specific case. So for me, I'm going to select QuickTime and here in the preset, I will select Apple ProRes 422. And on and here in these tabs, you can have a bunch of settings tweaked and you can have a bunch of preferences for the video, for the audio, which in my case, I will um, change this sample size to be 24 bit and I'm going to press OK. And remember, the settings are going to be for all of the clips that I selected here. So as you can see, the name of the button here in the middle has changed to our custom uh, configuration that we select. Now, what we have to tell the program next is where in the computer I want them to be converted. Basically, I'm going to select a folder where every single one of the clips converted are going to be located. So for that, I'm going to press on any of the buttons here in the right. So let's press, let's press one of them. And for that, I'm going to select uh, here in this folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it converted. 
which are going to be my converted files. And I'm going to press choose. And then everything is ready to start uh, converting. Something that I would like to advise to you, if you have a Mac, I recommend you to select instead of the Mercury playback engine software only, I recommend you to use this metal, which is actually the recommended setting because it will take advantage of the video card that you might have on your computer. So the job is going to be much, much faster. So everything that we have to do now is to press this start queue button right here and the conversion will start. Now, while this program is doing its work, let's take a look at the folder that we created for the converted files. And as you can see now, the new video files are right here in a format that is called that move, which is exactly the ProRes video file that I wanted. So, as you can see, Adobe's Media Encoder is a very powerful tool to convert your videos. But you know what? If you click around here, I can show you in another video another very cool trick that it can do.